Duelist. Who can do neither. Despia. Uber. Sword Soul. Who is certainly a rare. Dry Kage. Has only his. Draytron. You rely on. Some might consider that a disadvantage. But that's what makes him a winner. What's going on guys? Logan JYA Drykage here and we just top aided the Philly Regionals with the best deck of all time. You already know Drytron, the best deck we are playing. A build that's been gaining a lot of traction recently and I had to give it a shot. This was the event to do it and fortunately enough it worked out well. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, homies, we're gonna start things off, and I'm already spoiling stuff, but I think if you didn't expect us to play Alpha in Ben 10, then you're crazy. We're playing maxed out names, Triple Alpha, Triple Zeta, Triple Gamma, and Triple Delta. I, I really just wanted to see the names, so we played as many as possible, and I'm glad I did. And there were still times where I only had one name hands, and it was rough, but it was, it was correct to play all three. And then for the fairy lineup, very consolidated. Vanity's Ruler, one Diviner, one Orange Light, and one Lancia. So this is kind of similar to the um, Hank Hill deck profile. I can't remember the gentleman's name, but he won a regional down in, um, uh, I think it was on the West Coast or something. Phenomenal build. And um, I, I can't remember if he was baiting both of these or not, but like the consolidated package is great. Also shout out to my boy DTA, told me to cut them down too, which actually worked out. He's also behind the camera. So, so. Yeah. <laughs> so moving on from there, we'll go on to the ritual lineup. Very consolidated here as well. Double Ben 10, one Natasha, one of the Magic Keys. Yes, we're playing the Magic Keys in this build, but it's actually pretty freaking good. I was surprised at um, how strong these were. And I will say I finished um, eight and one in the tournament today. And my one loss, I had full board with Vanity's Ruler, um, Moy Beta with Negates, and um, this lined up with the Trap Card. And he had Double Dark Ruler and full combo. So I kind of got shafted there. Sword Soul, it was a tough one. And then finally the one Draconids. Draconids was also an MVP today. So never cut this card, it's absolutely insane. Um, moving on the spells, three Nova, one Fafnir. This was great, I'm glad I played it. Another name, uh, one Mediona Stritron. You don't need to play two. I didn't get a DD code once. I got DD code so many times that everyone was hitting names. So people still haven't learned. Um, triple Cyber Emergency. Um, triple preparation of rights, uh, absolutely essential. It helps you play through hand traps and it lets you extend even further beyond. Triple Pot of Prosperity. This card was the absolute nuts. I'm so glad I played it. We got, it drew us into side deck cards. It, like when we had a one name hand, it became a two name hand. Um, Baited Ashes. I unfortunately think that you kind of have to play this in Drytron now. So I'm sorry that it's expensive, but it's so good. <clears throat> this is where I really go crazy. Triple Forbidden Droplet, Triple Dark Ruler, no more. Uh, main decking both. Uh, I only, going second cards I played with these blowouts, no hand traps outside of the Orange and the Lancia. So you really needed to see these. And the cool thing is in 45 cards, your odds of seeing either one of these or a Forbidden, excuse me, one of these or a Pot of Prosperity in your opening hand going second is above 70%. So it gives you a good chance going second. And then one Foolish, one Harpies for the Duster, and one Call by the Grave. Um, I main deck the Harpies after seeing Miles' list. Shout out to Miles, another Drykage. We um, didn't want to not have a main deck Mystic Mine out, so that's why I put it in there. And then the one Magic Game Locking. So it's 45 card main deck. Extra deck should be pretty self-explanatory. Two Moy Beta, MVP today. Fuko. Fuko was an MVP today. It bought me a turn when I got drolled and I ended up coming back to win the game. It was insane. I summoned Fuko, like, I want to say like four or five times today, which is insane. So you have to play this card. Swings into Mirror Jades and lets you make Zeus. It's really good. Downer Magician and Zeus, of course. And then the one Beatrice. This is also extremely mandatory. Someone mentioned cutting Beatrice to me. Absolutely not. It's so essential for your side deck and it's essential to play with one name hand. So you absolutely need it. Um, Lake Monsters, one Anima. I only stole twice today but it was one crazy interaction. Dude, I kid you not. I think this was like, I want to say like round four and I was undefeated and I played against Altergeist and he secret village and the spellcastered me and I was able to play because this is a spellcaster. So that was pretty crazy. So yeah, Anima's insane. That's not going to come up for any rational situation, but hey, it came up today. IP and Mirage Lane. Uh, I haven't watched um, uh, Justin Singh's new video yet, but uh, I'm still playing both for the time being. I always use this. Usually I'm just using this to climb into Boral Sword, or I think I only ended on it like once, and I think I ended on this once as well, but they're good to have. They're important to have. 
Unicorn never summoned it. Appalosa summoned it once. Bull Sword summoned like a million times. MVP, Black Rose Dragon, also helped me win like two separate games. It's insane. People still don't see it coming. Nobody's learned. <coughs> Excuse me. Herald of the Arclight and Entis. That's it for the extra deck. And finally, close it out with the side deck. Lava Golem, goaded, shout out Jordy, shout out any Drytron player who plays Lava Golem, you gotta do it. It's one of the best side deck cards. <coughs> it lets you play against Sword Soul. The one token collector, the one Necro World Banshee, and the one Zombie World. You send these off Beatrice. Uh, I played only one Mystic Mine and one Terraforming because I was tight on the extra deck. I needed to make room for the token collector so I didn't get called off my pants down again and uh, like at the YCS. So we corrected that and what got cut was I cut three Mystic Mine down to one and then I put in a Terraforming. The cool thing about this is that when I was going first, <coughs> when I was siding out my Dark Ruler No More, I would side out usually um, for um, Terraforming and like Twin Twisters or something else if it was applicable. And um, Terraforming is just an additional search uh, for your Fafnir. So it technically counts as a name. Uh, triple Twin Twisters was really good. and. Evenly matched, MVP, 100%, like, I don't even need to explain this. And Red Reboot, which I resolved once today, which felt really good. I, I opened the nuts, it was Red Reboot and Call by. You can't ask for more. So, Dry Kage, Dry Tron Best Deck. If you guys want to see more Dry Tron videos, absolutely smash that like button, subscribe for more. And uh, know that we got more combo tutorials coming. We've got other players who are playing Dry Tron. We're going to try and snag those lists. And we're going to talk some of the greatest Dry Tron players on the East Coast, West Coast, across America, across the world. So, Without further ado, Logan Joe Ice and off. Have a great day. I'll see you chumps later. Peace.